he'll deliver the same result. One thing is certain, this one is not going to be boring. The plan was to, to go forward and go get Kung. I'm more prepared and I'm confident to go out there and go at him from the get-go. Well, Scott Smith can say whatever he wants to say. If he wants to say he can finish me sooner, that's more pressure to him. I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to perform. What happened against Scott Smith was I got him down in the first round and in the second round and halfway through the third round. A spinning back kick dropped Scott Smith. Instead, I went in there looking for the knockout, got caught with the punch, and he finished me. Scott Smith has got a new lease on life with a KO at the last minute. There's people that say that I got lucky. The fight should have been stopped in the first round. I want to go out there and prove that I can go out there in the first round and beat him up. Tonight, you're going to see Kung Lee at his best. Sharp, focused, and in super shape. I always have that punching power. I can always end a fight. As long as I'm breathing and standing, I'm dangerous. Please welcome to the cage the dynamic former world champion, Kong Lee. So Kong Lee returns to the cage after that December loss. He's been inactive. Only three fights in the last two and a half years. One of those fights, Frank, against you when he stopped you via a TKO, but it was one of the great fights of the season. But he's also getting older at 38. He's 38. He's getting older now. He hasn't had the hard career that I had. He's only got six, seven fights, but he did have a long Sancho and wrestling career. So we know there's damage on the body. He claims he's super, super healthy, but having the baby, being 38. Man, that's the tough. Actor Channing Tatum in his corner. He's had a long week. His wife, Suzanne, underwent an emergency C-section this past Monday, giving birth to a healthy baby boy, Robert Eric Lee. Amazing thing is, is that Lee's wife is here tonight, along with his mom, Anne, and sister, Nicole. MMA women are strong. <laughs> As we saw in the last fight. <laughs> That's right. Kenny and Cyborg. One of the most vicious ones we will see. So that brings us to some of the keys for Kung Lee. Well, Kung Lee's key tonight is don't take chances. He took chances last time. He wanted to freeze the crowd. He wanted to finish off Scott Smith. He needs to be precise. He needs to be technical and stick to his skill set. Do not take chances. And Morrow Kung Lee has come out and said that he was so disappointed in his last loss to Scott Smith. He wanted to forget about the movies, make sure that he got back into doing what he does best, and that's MMA. Yeah, no doubt about it. He said he's going to be more patient in this fight, use a lot more setups and angles, and uh, really just looking to focus on his first love, the martial arts. And now, here is the exciting knockout artist, Scott Hands of Steel Smith. of steel smith has always shown an ability morrow even when he's down no. to pull out a win yeah no doubt about it you look at his resume filled with thrilling knockouts many of them the dramatic come from behind variety including his last fight against kung lee and who can forget the dramatic come from behind wins over the likes of benji raddick and of course pete sell has he ever had a fight that did not come from behind and win? This guy is amazing. Well, his key tonight is a hard jab with fast hands. And he's going to do that by keeping his nose and Kung's chest and backing him up. He can't wait like, like he did last time in counter punch. He took a lot of punishment and he took a lot of damage. And if Kung hadn't gotten careless, he would have lost that fight. And he's very self-aware is Scott Smith. He told us that he may not have the longest career, but... Darn it, he's going to have one of the most exciting, and he certainly has had that thus far. Scott Smith, Kung Lee, and it's time now for the tail of the tape. Three five-minute rounds in the middleweight division. That's 185 pounds. Yeah, and the big number we got to think about is Kung Lee is 38 years old. He is not an, a young man. And further, the unseen factor, the mental anguish over the KO he suffered in his last fight. The first loss of his career. Let's go inside the cage now to Jimmy Lennon Jr. 
All right, fans, here we go as Strike Force M1 Global and Showtime present a rematch special attraction in the middleweight division. We're scheduled three five minute rounds. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, a world-renowned San Show fighter with an MMA record of six wins, one loss, with all six wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, looking to avenge his loss from San Jose, California, by way of Vietnam, please welcome the popular San Show world champion and the former Strike Force middleweight champion of the world. Producing Kong Lee. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. An always dangerous and well versed mixed martial artist specializing in Muay Thai with a record of 18 wins, six losses, and one no contest with 15 big wins coming by way of knockout. From Elk Grove, California, please welcome the hammer-fisted veteran, the comeback phenom, and former champion, Scott Hands of Steel Smith. And the referee in charge now to give instructions, Jason Herzog. I've just gone over the rules in the background. No final questions from you, Blue. No final questions from you, Red. That's close. I'm not ready to play. Scott Smith, Kong Lee, the rematch in San Jose. And for Kong Lee, you know he has great takedown defense. But one thing, Frank, he's pretty good at taking you down. He's a good wrestler. He should use it. I don't know why he doesn't. Scott, hands of Steel Smith. That right hand has fire in it. And if he connects, it could be lights out early for Kung Lee. First round, buddy, you ready? Buddy, you ready? Let's fight! And we're underway. And Smith quickly across the ring. He said he wasn't going to waste any time going at him. There's a right hand by Smith. Scott he is just Smith rushing him. After him. Now he's just got to be careful he doesn't extend and get caught with a hook or get caught with a kick when he's reaching. How's Lee's punching power, Frank? I mean, he punches good. They're crisp and they're tight. They're not like heavy thudding ones, but they're nice pops. Lee saw a lack of cardio and the fact he didn't listen to his corner very well. Hurt him in the first meeting with Smith. Smith, 31 years old. Kung Lee, 38. Will age be a factor? As the fans show who they are cheering Kung Lee's name. I like the strategy already by Scott Smith. Bowling in there, nose in the chest, just like he said he was. Hitting him in the cage, stopping all that movement. Smith worked with a boxing coach for the first time for this training camp. A professional by the name of Mike Guy, wanting to work on his head movement defensively. Smith, very aggressive. Lee backing up. We haven't seen him use his kicks yet. And that was another thing he mentioned, the fact that the sheer number of kicks that he threw against Smith in the first fight may have emptied his tank prematurely. Scott Smith has made a head movement. <laughs> Finally, he slipped a couple of punches and he got hit with a kind of a hooking jab. Kung Lee is beating him with a punch now. But Smith is the kind of fighter that'll take two. He'll take three to get one, because generally that one counts a whole lot. Kung Lee is getting through with that straight left. As Scott kind of barrels in, he's timing him and he's dropping it straight down and popping him. Of course, Lee, the southpaw, that straight right of Scott Smith may be his primary weapon. Kung Lee trying to find some space to get his kicks up. Finally does. And already resorting to his dog. Oh, oh, straight left That man. straight left pop really good. Now, big change. Shot. And there's that takedown defense. Kung Lee earned All-American honors, was a state wrestling champion in California. We don't see his wrestling skills that often.